In this video, I'm going to be showing how to convert the Coleman products that use CPA6 uh, power banks to use USB to use USB to power the devices. Uh, Coleman has decided to discontinue its CPX batteries and a rechargeable battery packs, leaving the owners with unusable products when when these batteries uh, fail. There are two types of batteries. One is the uh, 4D battery pack, where you can put normal D batteries or rechargeable batteries. And you have the other, that is the power, the rechargeable power pack. Uh, this one, uh, it's very unreliable uh, because uh, it fails to charge uh, within a year or so and the reason is because it uses a sealed lead acid rechargeable battery that doesn't have a long life and the symptom is that when you begin to charge it, uh, the LED light uh, will turn green. Even though it doesn't have charge, it turns green and is unusable. Both battery packs, both of these battery packs uh, are known not to be of high quality build. Uh, the rechargeable battery stops working when it stops uh, accepting charge and the four battery packs stop working when they break apart the tabs and many other parts break and the lid can come off and then you cannot use it anymore by using the USB 2.0 uh, charging you can use any lithium battery packs to make your CPX devices work for a long time and uh, even a much long, uh, longer time the rechargeable pack is a 6 volt uh, battery. Like I mentioned, this is from one of those I removed it from, from one of those charges that from of these battery packs that stop working. As you can see, it is 6 volts and less than 1 amp. USB 2.0 is 5 volts and one or two amps so it's perfect for for the conversion for the conversion you are going to need a usb cable so you have the usb a portion and this can be any type use the usb 2.0 because those are uh, five volts two amps which will be perfect and you need a uh, the old battery pack that you are going to to cut it so that you can modify it. What we're going to do is we're going to cut with a Dremel tool that has a plastic disc, cutting disc, or any other tool that work can work on plastic we're going to cut at the edge but being careful not to cut at the tabs so we're going to leave the tabs here and we're going to cut all around and we're going to cut at this point we're going to cut all this top so that we can remove the battery um, you need to do this because there is a circuit here that is screwed to to this side and then the battery is he is a uh, connections are here uh, you cannot take the batteries out from this side so you need to to cut it here as mentioned all around here here but leaving this tab so that you have the holders and it can it will still uh, lock into the Coleman 
device. I tried and failed to convert it to batteries because the, the inside of this doesn't let you to, there's not enough space to put 4D, 4D battery, batteries. So therefore, uh, we couldn't modify this to, to make it work with batteries. Uh, but the USB connection is pretty straightforward and work perfectly. I'm going to be showing uh, photos with uh, how I open this, but this is the final product. So as you can see, I cut this and I glue it back once I added a USB 2.0 uh, connection. So once you cut it, these tabs I'm going to have a red and a black uh, cords and or wires and you are going to connect the USB 2.0 to the red and the black uh, wires correspondingly. Uh, once you have that, you can easily come and insert your battery and then you can use for example a lithium-ion battery pack and just turn it on very bright or you can use uh, your drill your drill a battery pack you can get an accessory that connects to to the USB like this and then it will power very bright too or or if you have your D watt uh, chargers they sell these battery adapters similar way to the other battery adapters that permits you to to have a USB port in this case you can see it's a DeWatt adapter and it has two USB ports so you just adapt it there connect it and you can have your battery pack working so you have endless ways of of uh, powering your light for a much longer time if you have if you have a, a battery a battery starter you can in the same way have a lot of power reserves so you can use this battery uh, car batteries that have a huge reserve so that they, uh, you can light any of your CPX SIPs products for the longest time and have many different ways of powering your CPX6 products. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to how to uh, cut the USB uh, the USB cord. What you do is you just cut the connection and remove remove the connection there. You have all the cables. You can remove the 
shielding. You can cut it because you're not going to be using that. And if you see, this is a charging cable. It only has two, two wires. Uh, if you have a data charging cable, you will have four wires. You only want you only want the black and the red wires for this application. Uh, so you just peel the wire so you can you can uh, connect it to your to your CPX box. Once you have cut the wires, you can connect it to You can connect it to the you can connect it to the two wires that come out from here. There is the red wire and the black wire and I'll be showing photographs and that's what you want to to use. Again once you have while you have finished you will just have your adapter that you can put in any CPX product and the USB that you can plug into any place. Uh, for this one, I can just put it there. I can use my D watt uh, battery. I can turn it on. And all works perfectly and if you have several of these batteries, car batteries or any kind of lithium ion batteries or power banks, uh, then you have large amount of possibilities on how to charge your CPX products. Here again, this is a small battery bank for computers. You can power your devices. I found that this way was very useful even though you couldn't insert this inside. I guess you could, but it would involve a lot uh, more work to put rechargeable batteries and then uh, being able to charge it. This is pretty straightforward and it will allow you to use your USB devices with many other power uh, banks, USB power banks. Again, it's USB 2.0, which is a 5 volt, uh, less than 2 amp power, since uh, these devices use less than 1 amp. Uh, hope this will help somebody. Again, as a disclaimer, this is a hack. I just did it. I'm not responsible for any of your own uh, work or connections or devices. It worked pretty good for me and uh, I'm very happy to have a, a CPX USB based that I can put on any CPX6 uh, product and make it work flawlessly. Thanks.